Assassin's! Assassin's! Oh, what's up with him? I've seen him before. Whenever he gets a whiff of an especially tasty pie, it's like sleepwalking without the sleep. You mean he's pie walking? Yep, and I think I know where. <laughs> A masked potato garnish and pepped by moi, Monsieur Tort Visage, pie maker extraordinaire. Oh, oh lovely. Fantastic. Yum. Mm -hmm. ah, no touching without buying. No. <laughs> My beautiful face! <laughs> My beautiful pie! Dad? Oh, uh, hello, son. Uh, fancy seeing you here. <gasps> Lads! Uh, hey, no, just you. Uh, you know, checking out the competition. Oh, not bad. Needs more pepper. Ah, don't make me laugh. You know nothing about pies. Oi! If my son reckons your pies need pepper, then your pies need pepper. I taught that boy everything I know about pies. Oh, really? And how long does that take, huh? Five minutes? I'll have you know I bake the best pies in Beano Town. Ask anyone you like. Ask your customers. Oh. Magnifique! It seems that even your friends prefer the taste of my pies. <laughs> we never said that. Although, this is very tasty. <laughs> oh, that does it! We'll settle this once and for all. I challenge you to a pie-making contest! Oh, bien sûr! And whoever loses has to close down their shop for good. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, um, hang on a second. Unless you are un scared cat. <laughs> My dad's not scared of anything. He'll bake a pie you'll never forget. Six o'clock tonight, right here in the street. The town can decide. <laughs> oh, what have I said? What have I done? If I lose this bet, I'll have to close down and leave town. What? Leave town? But that'll break up the menaces. And what about Paul? All oh, his friends are here too. We can't let that happen. You'll just have to bake the most popular pie of your life. But don't worry, we're here to help. I've seen your idea of help before and it always gets out of hand. <sighs> what are you planning? We're going to find the best flavour in the world. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. <gasps> hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Très bien. These nincompoops are no threat to me. Hey, don't worry, we've brought enough for everyone. Hey, don't worry, we've brought enough for everyone! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How are we going to find the town's favourite flavour if no one trusts us enough to take one? I've got it! We'll go undercover. Huh? Undercover? Très sneaky, way, but Monsieur Tarte Visage is a sneakier. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to tell us your favourite! Oh, apple, yeah. please! Oh, oh, thank you! Steak for rice, please! Oh, yes, yummy! Yeah. No, 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 no! This cannot be! They must not find the favourite flavour! Huh? Hey! Isn't that... Oh, oh, <laughs> Crazy dog! Oh, that went well. <laughs> 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 
Sergeant, we must punish these troublemakers, no? Perhaps I can uh, make a petit suggestion? Ha-ha! Oh, no one will dare try our pies now. We'll never find Beano Town's favourite flavour. Oh, Tut Visage started it. He splashed me with mash. We can't let him win or the menaces will be split up forever. Imagine that. Mash! <laughs> <laughs> it's too big to eat. Oh, no. If only Pyfees were still here. <laughs> Dennis, oh, this mixed up pie mix is the best. Huh? Oh, whoa, he's right. This is delicious. <laughs> We've still got a chance. Our fantastic flavour is right here on Pie Face's Pie Face. We just need to know what's in it. Pie Face, what hit you? Um, some pies. Only one thing for it. More cherry. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, now chocolate. <laughs> Just when I think you lot can't get any sillier. Back off, Walter. This is a highly scientific experiment. Try apple plus strawberry. Huh? <laughs> Nearly. There's just something missing. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, we're running out of time. Think, Pyface. Do you remember anything? I remember suddenly feeling very cold. Eh? Why would you feel cold on such a hot day? Of course. Angel Face is flying ice cream. Oi, Walter. I bet you can't hit me with that ice cream. Hmm. Bet you I can. Yeah. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Thanks, Walter. Do. That's it. The missing ingredients. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. So, three parts cherry, one part chocolate, yep. one part beef. <laughs> really? Don't doubt the pie master. And don't forget the ice cream. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bowl. <laughs> Beth is too scared to even turn up. <laughs> <laughs> a great big recipe makes a great big pie. Nothing can stop us now. Hold it right there. After that fiasco in the park, no one wants you coming near them with a pie. So, Monsieur Tort Visage requested a police line. <laughs> uh -huh. Safety first, away. <laughs> but, but if people don't taste my pie, I don't stand a chance of winning. There we go. Set one foot across this line and I'll arrest the lot of you. Huh? Oh. And it just remains for you to name me the winner. After all, this is the only pie in the contest, no? <laughs> ah! No! Many seeds! Dennis, I said... You said don't set one foot across the line, so we won't. Dennis! Stop using those catapults at once. <laughs> yes, Dennis, listen to your papa. And start using these much bigger catapults. <laughs> what? You didn't think we'd let our old friend get drummed out of town, did you? No one splits up our gang. <laughs> <laughs> Very good eating. Oh. Right, this is <laughs> delicious. Does everyone agree? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> right yes. then, Dino Town, we have a winner. Yeah, that is it. You win. I would not stay another second in this crazy town if you paid me. Does this mean our pie shop safe? Too right, it does, son. <laughs> And more importantly, so are the menaces. They're a winning team. Now who's for second? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't 
to play to potatoes, pie face. Classmates, I hope you'll all be voting for me to be this year's class prefect. <laughs> we wouldn't vote for you if you were the only kid standing. <laughs> and you are the only kid standing. No one else wants that boring job. Boring? I think not. Helping teachers clean school rules is what I was born to do. Yeah, tell him, Walter. Fit for Walter! Fit for Walter! Ah, oh, Sausage and Mash Monday! Oh, but you're banned, Nasha. Unless... <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper! One bite for me. Ow. And one for you. You need a haircut, Dennis. School rules say hair should be no more than ten centimetres long. Huzzah! <gasps> Lucky me! Stop! in 30 seconds, Dennis. That's a record even for you. Hey, No hair over 10 centimetres, no pets in school. What's the third one? No sausages flung into the teacher's mouths between 1 and 2 on a Monday afternoon. How am I supposed to know that? Huh, it's in the rule book. Learn them all tonight, or it's detention every day until you do. Brilliant! I bet there's rules in here that I haven't even dreamed of breaking. Ah. Oh. Rule 409, no fat powder in the dinner hall. Rule 410, no skydiving in assembly. <laughs> you sing just like Walter. <laughs> Listen to this. Rule 411, the class prefect gets to bring a pet to school. It's a really old rule, mate, so Lord Beanoworth's son could bring his tiger to class. <laughs> has it done their homework? <laughs> Hold on a sec. If you were prefect, you could bring your pet to school. Nessa! Nessa! Yeah, but then I'd have to be the teacher's pet. <laughs> anyway, I've got a much better idea. Time for Plan D and G. Voting is today, so if nobody else wants to be class prefect... Prepare to grovel, my subjects. Uh, um, I mean, uh, I graciously accept. Hang on, there's someone else who wants to stand for class prefect. You? I'd rather eat a cactus. Phew, Dennis can't stand as class prefect. The rules say prefects can't have had more than five detentions. He's had 500. Which is why our candidate is... Paul! A potato? No, 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 Dennis. That is a pet. No pets in school. Well, you said yesterday that rule didn't apply to Paul. Then it's time to change the rules. But, Headmaster, the rule is nonsense. He's a potato, a spud. A chip. <gasps> There's nothing in the school rule book that says potatoes can't stand for class prefect. Enough, all of you. Clearly, we need to change the rules to disallow vegetables. Thank you, Headmaster. A triumph for common sense. But the rules say school rules can only be changed by a majority vote at a school meeting on the third Tuesday after a full moon, provided there's a J in the month. What a stupid system! Can we change it? Well, yes, but only by a majority vote on the third Tuesday... So what you're saying is there's nothing to stop Paul standing for class prefect? Oh, it seems not. Don't worry, miss. I'm fairly confident I can beat a root vegetable. Very well. May the best man... Or potato. Or potato win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm efficient, respectable, and a stickler for rules. What more could you want? How about a bit of fun? Let's put an end to Walter's waffle by voting for Paul! <laughs> no bikes in school, and any candidate who breaks school rules is immediately disqualified. Ha! The potato's out! I win! 
Aha! But Paul didn't break any rules. He's over there. Hello. Detention, both of you. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. Detention's a small price to pay. When Paul wins, he's bringing a pet to school. And that's gonna be you. Nasha! Nasha! Aha! You're trying to ruin my campaign so you can bring your stupid dog to school. Not at all, Walter. It's just that Paul's clearly the better candidate. Ha! <laughs> Nonsense. What on earth is a potato good for? <laughs> Town School. I'm asked to name one thing a potato is good for, and I give you chips for your fish, mash for your sausages, jackets for your cheese and beans. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm clearly a better candidate. For one thing, I'm smarter than a potato. <laughs> oh, really? What, six times, five times, four times, three times, two times, one times, zero? Oh, oh, oh carry the one. Oh, oh. Psh, rubbish. But Paul got it right. What? Paul said nothing. And nothing is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's a better athlete than you two. Oh, pff, what nonsense. I bet you he can reach the end of the playground before you can. You'll run on three. Three! <laughs> I'd like to see a potato get there before me. Potato three, Walter nil. I've had enough of this. I'm turning you into mash. <laughs> <laughs> Totally, utterly ludicrous! It's a potato! A potato! Do you want all the other classes to laugh at us? Thankfully, sanity prevails! That prefect badge is mine! Psst. Looks like we'll have to rely on our top secret plan after all! Yeah. Something. Let me see. See what? You mean these plans? I yeah. wouldn't do that if I were you, Walter. You'd need the agility of a cat to get up there. And you've got the agility of an elephant. Hmm. The agility of a cat, eh? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he'd fall for it. <laughs> Grab those plans. Walter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked. These are plans for cheating to win the election. <gasps> Walter. Oof. These are not mine. But I caught you red-handed. Literally. And miss, isn't bringing your pet into school against the rules? And aren't rule breakers disqualified, miss? Hmm. Walter, maybe you're not a perfect prefect after all. What? No! <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like there's only one candidate left, miss. And so we have a clear winner. Your new class prefect is Paul the Potato. Oh. Yeah, give it up for Prefect Paul! Woo! <laughs> you know this is only till they get the rules changed. Yeah, but it'll be fun while it lasts. Speaking of which, everyone say hello to the class prefect's pet. Oh, you horrible hound! <laughs> Don't be a bad loser, Walter. You didn't stand a chance against Team Menace. <laughs> Summer holidays. This is going to be 
be the best day ever! <laughs> what are we gonna do, Dennis? Yes. A. Break the world decibel record with the din makers. B. Put bubble bath in the swimming pool. Or C. Water bomb Walter with super sticky blackcurrant squash. My magnum opus is finished. What I did in my summer holidays. I devoted my entire summer to writing this essay. Option, option C. Option D. I mean, what, what you said. Nash, nash, nash. School homework? Nah. Summer holidays are for fun. <laughs> Not you as well. Ah, oh, sorry, Dennis. I've written a daily online blog about my holiday. I've gotten over 100 hits on my site. <laughs> if I write down everything I've done this summer, it'll be a signed confession of all my pranks. <laughs> well, you are the prank master general, Dennis. Yeah, you're Lord Pranky. Dennis, calm down now. It's time to do your repair job on the Colonel's fence. <laughs> <laughs> So it's your last chance to put things right. I'm off fishing. I can't help the Colonel. I I've got homework. Well, you better get moving then. Can't stop bee starting nursery today. Oh, how many is that now? That would be number 12. <laughs> B, it's the last one on the list. It's this nursery or none at all. But I just want one more day of fun. Then you'll just have to make it fun. Brilliant idea, Mum. <laughs> Reporting for duty. <laughs> Ready to take your punishment, cadet? If I must. That's <laughs> the spirit. Face the firing squad with a smile. Ah, here we are. What's this? New fence. Double strength this time. And I want them all moved over there. Every last post. And I don't mean played on the bugle. Ha ha ha. It's a little military joke. You no, know, uh, never mind. <laughs> yes, my bugling isn't what it used to be. <laughs> <sighs> yes, mate, it's a lovely big pile of sticks. <laughs> Extremely heavy sticks. <laughs> Tank enthusiasts. Jane from Tippington Shed. Masha, how many of these do you reckon you could mash? Now remember, be good. It'll be just fine. Please don't worry about B. It's not B I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take the pace, eh? You'll think twice before you drive a tank into enemy territory again. Good job, Nasha. Now, what about the rest of them? <laughs> Ammunition. Can't leave stuff on the pavement. It's a public health thingy. <clears throat> Keep it moving now. A nice neat pile. Hey, what's what in there? You! Ow! <laughs> you underestimate your adversary, young fellow, me lad. I've got my eye on you, and I'm awarding myself a medal for foiling petty treason. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, time for elevenses, I think. Continue. Post haste. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, no sense of humour, the young. Mm. Oh. Nash, nash, nash. Roo, roo. Nash is back. <laughs> right, team. Ready to pull? And. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Tinkle, man down, man down! No!
liked my school homework essay, My Summer of Good Deeds. What a thoughtful gesture. Ooh, pink sprinkles. I've been inspired by your military heroism to help others. Pah, help yourself more like. Oh, thank you, Dennis. I will. <coughs> hard work makes you hungry, eh, Dennis? Angel Face, how about you do some hard work and help me with these? Oh, well, I'd love to, Dennis, but that wouldn't be helping you learn from your mistakes, would it? <coughs> ah, you're a credit to the community. Oh, I've had enough of this. It's time for Plan D and G. Uh, where is G, anyway? Nasha? Nasha! to part 27 of your essay this afternoon. Well, Dennis, where is your homework? <laughs> My homework? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dennis, where is your homework? Oh, my homework. It's out there. <laughs> Project Dennis. Top of the class. Tension. Oh no. Aha! Those are my missing timbers. Colonel, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, uh, donated by the Colonel? But, but this is an outrage. An outrage that we haven't celebrated our local hero sooner. Angel Face spoke about you so movingly in her What I Did This Summer essay. Is there no end to this girl's kindness? No. No end. In fact, she's helping me fix your fence later. Aren't you, Angel Face? Of course I am, Dennis. Well, in that case, Tenshan, time to take up my post at that fort. Ha ha ha. Post, you see. Post. No, oh, forget it. Prepare to storm the battlements. Best first day of school ever. <laughs> Nasha's fleas have got to go. Uh, what's the problem? Oh, look, it's from Great Aunt Felicity. She's been in the Amazon tagging wild panthers, and now she's off to Africa to give fillings to hippos. But she's stopping off on the way there to pay us a visit. 
Oh, she's really looking forward to seeing you and Nasha, but you know about her phobia. <laughs> and who oh, no, knew the tigers were ticklish. <laughs> 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 Get it off! Get it off! But, but Nasha without fleas is like fish without chips. Steak without chips. Chips without chips. No arguments, Dennis. I'm taking him to the salon for a flea bath. <laughs> this flea shampoo will soon have you clean and fresh. Nasha? Nasha? <laughs> nash, nash. Uh, don't worry, I'll take care of Nasha. You can count on me. The fleas are history. <laughs> okay, we have a problem. We need to keep Nash's fleas somewhere safe till Auntie Flick is gone and he can have them back. Nash. We could take Nasha around to your grands. Or we could clone Nasha and the fleas can stay in the clone until your auntie goes. Huh? <laughs> Pie face, you're a genius! Let's make a fake Nasha. First, we need something scuzzy and, and tangled that feels like Nasha. Ah. Wow, it's like I'm seeing double. <laughs> Nasha. I'm not so sure that this is going to work, Dennis. Come on, the fleas will love it. <laughs> huh. Maybe they can smell a trap. <gasps> of course! It has to smell like Nasha. OK, time for Operation Phew! <laughs> Itching powder in a pepper mill. My latest prank, I give you the itch, sneeze, merry smell. Wait, wait, wait. Flea transfer successful. It's only for an hour or so, Nasha. Just stay away from fake Nasha while Auntie Flick's here, OK? Nash, Nash. Right, you two keep an eye on the fake Nasha. I don't know how long the pong will last and I don't want Whoa. any surprise. <laughs> Auntie Flick, what are you doing? Yes, it is lovely weather, isn't it? I'm just testing my theory that the Zagabog tribe from Brazil flew across the Atlantic 500 years Must ask them about their landings. Nasher, my favorite dog. <laughs> or the, 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 the fleas. Are they all gone? Uh, yeah, all gone, Auntie. It's completely free flea. Uh, I mean, um, flea free. No, thank you. I just ate. Oh, I can't see any fleas. <laughs> Oh, crocodile sausage. Delicious. Let's go inside. I've got presents for everyone. They look great. Made from her runksa bark. It has excellent relaxing qualities. I don't feel any more relaxed. And for you, Dennis, a Peruvian flute. <laughs> Sorry, that was a poison berry blowpipe. I always get them confused. <laughs> hmm, is it just me? Or has the fake Nasher lost its smell? <laughs> oh, I don't know. All I can smell is this onion pickle and gorgonzola pie. Oh, yum. It needs more pepper, though. Oh, that 
スのコーディジーグラーベンス Oh dear, maybe we should try and get them off. Oh no! What was that? Um, just a bird. Yeah, a big one. I'll go and see if it's all right. You stay in here and um, help Auntie Flick. Nash, Nash. Actually, I think Nasher should stay here and help. What happened? It jumped out of the treehouse for no reason. Nothing to do with itching powder or anything. It's gone crazy, Dennis. I think the fleas are desperately seeking Nasher. Oh. We have to catch it before the fleas get anywhere near Auntie Flick. We'll need some ropes, wood, a sheet, and something really stinky. <laughs> Are you sure this will work? Of course. It'll fall right into our trap. <laughs> No. That's why I always have a plan B. What are you boys up to? Ah! Auntie Flick, don't come any closer. Yes, they are nice glasses, aren't they? I just bought them. Hi, Fake, stop! Thank you! Ah! Woo! Ah! Dennis, what were you thinking? Um, sorry. You've left me far too much room. If you really want to trap someone, you need more tension on the ropes. <laughs> you see, a tough nylon cord has the best strength to weight ratio. Cool. <laughs> ah, no, stop! Don't move! Oh, hey! Woo! Look what I found! Lumbricus Festivus! That's just what I need. Create a very slippery oil. <sighs> As I said, I don't feel any more relaxed than normal. Oh, that's my ride. See you all again soon. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Auntie Flick, don't forget your rucksack. Dennis, what are you doing? I doesn't want this smelly old thing. <laughs> yes, sir. That, that's right. You know what? We'll give it a wash and post it to her. <laughs> Don't be silly, boys. Hand it over. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Help! Somebody save me! <laughs> Nasher, my hero. Listen, Nash! <laughs> anyway, mustache, mush, mush. I had a great time. The net, the pet, it was fantastic. Goodbye, all. Net, pit. What was she talking about? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Run, Nasha! <laughs> Today's experiment. 
with my personal Junior Genius Lab kit. That should present no problem, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Creature, my beaker's broken. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, then pair up with Walter, Dennis. What? <laughs> oh, surely you two can work together for five minutes. had to evacuate the entire school because of the mm, smell. Do you have anything to say for yourselves for ruining Mrs. Creature's experiment? Yes, Headmaster. It was all his fault. I told you not to touch the beaker when the liquid oozes. You have zero understanding of slime production. What's there to understand? Puerile pranks, tawdry tricks, all child's play. Child's play? Menacing takes skill and precision timing. You couldn't menace a dead fish. I could do that in my sleep. Whereas you wouldn't last one afternoon completing my to-do list. What? Measuring the straightness of my tie with a ruler? Yeah, really hard, Walter. I do more than that. I... Boys, boys, boys. It seems we have here a classic lack of mutual understanding. But I have the perfect solution. You will each spend this afternoon living each other's lives. <laughs> I've spoken to your parents and it's agreed. This afternoon you will live according to the habits and rules of the other's household. <laughs> Stop! Swap! Huh? I'll explain later, Nasha. It's complicated. Here is Walter's jam-packed schedule for this afternoon. Jingle Composer Club. Toothpick Modeler's Symposium with the Colonel. Competitive bird watching. Swimming pool mathletics. Pet grooming. <laughs> Where do you keep your garden shears? Dennis's schedule? <laughs> For what? His after-school activities. Uh, he doesn't exactly have a schedule. He, he lives in the moment. <laughs> this will be a breeze, just as I thought. <laughs> I do hope Dennis is coping. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've studied your chords. Stand straight, shoulders back. No slouching! <laughs> now, after me, I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Um, usually Dennis just says something like, Rock! Rock? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Bird watching? Huh. Yeah. Let's liven this up, Nasha. Snake! Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, this isn't the sort of thing we do with Dennis, Walter. <laughs> but that is. <laughs> So, this is a toothpick modeler's symposium. Hmm. Oh. Play with B can't be that hard. I don't know how much more of this I can take. What's swimming pool mathletics anyway? Huh? Three times seven is twenty-one. Four, Four times, times seven is twenty-eight. Five times seven, Dennis. Oh, I know this one. Cannonball! <laughs> so far, you're not doing very well at being Walter, Dennis. I knew you'd find my life too hard. Meanwhile, I'm blitzing yours. Treehouse tidied, a study regime for B. I've even introduced the gin makers to the principles of classical harmony. That's not being a menace, Walter. That sounds like things you do. Epic fail. Boys, you have one more chance to live each other's life before the day is done, or... 
I'll pay you up in every class until the term ends. Seventeen times thirty-two is five hundred and forty-four. Eighteen times thirty-two is five hundred and seventy-six. Nineteen times thirty-two is... Baby. OK, time for plan D, G and W. We need to help each other if we're going to get through to Tester's experiment. Very well. Listen carefully. After swimming pool athletics, it's bath time. Make sure you use plenty of soap. Then it's afternoon tea. This is very important. You must use the scone fork. It's second from the right. Do not use the Battenberg fork. OK, but Walter, you've got to think like a menace. Remember, fun is always just around the corner. Come, Claudius. We have menacing to attend to. And it's bath time for you and me. <laughs> Lots of soap, eh? Low setting, I think. <laughs> Today with some menacing equipment. Ooh. 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 <sighs> right, Nasha. All I have to do is get through the scone test, and life goes back to normal. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> um, uh, mm -hmm. He certainly looks. And smells the part. Oh! Not the Battenberg fork! Uh, use the second one! The second one! Ha! Mm. Sure. Just goes to show you can complete a successful experiment without any mischief. A plus for you, Dennis. Yes! But Walter still has to pass his test. Uh, Walter excels at everything he does. <laughs> He'll be just fine, I assure you. I'm not so sure about that. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> on this device. <coughs> Too late, anyway. Postman's way out of range now. Strangely quiet today. Oh, no! I told you not to waste time arranging the pranks according to the Dewey Decimal System. But they need it sorted out. I failed. Maybe not. <gasps> no! I, well, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> But I could. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do it, Claudius. Walter. What are you doing, Walter? Being Dennis, sir. Mm, yes, I, I suppose you are. Well, well done. Very good. <laughs> so, what have you uh, learned today, Walter? Well, that having no rules can be somewhat liberating. And you, Dennis? Ah, well, I learned that, um, uh, that everyone needs a bath sometimes. Yes, I suppose they do. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. You have successfully completed today's experiment. <laughs> Would you care to join us for afternoon tea, Headmaster? Thank you, Walter. I never say no to a scone. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who knew bath time could be so much fun? Follow me. Okay, Nasha, no 
nobody gets in that door. <laughs> Dennis, we're going on a family holiday whether you like it or not. Please, Mum. I can't take another holiday at Auntie Prue's. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Prue, 500 star trumps before breakfast is too much. Nonsense. You need to earn your wheat jump porridge. Now, put your backs into it, spit spot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're not going back to Auntie Prue's. We've managed to find a holiday camp you haven't been banned from. And there's loads of activities to keep you out of our hair. I, I mean, happy. <laughs> Adventure playgrounds, archery targets, scavenger hunts, fun, fun, fun from dawn till dusk. <laughs> Sounds brilliant. Let's get packing, Nasha. Nash, Nash, Nash. Now look, son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Saves me taking it down. Are we there yet? For the 500th time, no! Uh, try and enjoy the country here. Insert pipe K into slot 9. <laughs> Taking care not to... <laughs> Check out the campsite, Dad. Of course you can. Soon as you get your tent up. <laughs> That'll keep him quiet for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All done. I'll be back for tea. See ya. <laughs> hey! Welcome to Camp Sunshine. I'm Billy, your crazy camp host. <laughs> OK. I'm looking for fun. Am I right? I'll show you the way and let you start relaxing. Oh. And here's our activity tent. Now, you don't want grown-ups cramping your style. Am I right? So, I've left it all in the capable hands of my favourite nephew. Cool. <laughs> Walter! Yes! I see your mum got the leaflet. <laughs> she told me all about Auntie Prue's and I couldn't bear to think of you having another terrible time on your holidays. Yes! Right then, I'll leave you to get on with it then, shall I? <laughs> Bye-bye for now. Cool! Archery! <laughs> So we can do some fun colouring in, of course. Colouring in? What about archery? Oh, no, Dennis, that's far too dangerous. We're exploring the creative arts. Creative, eh? <laughs> Stay within the lines. Hmm. Don't forget the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye! <laughs> I'm in charge here. Oh, if you want to stay, you have to oh, to do what I tell you. Oh. Maybe I don't want to stay. What? Would you rather go back to Auntie Prue's? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a bracing ice cold char. Nash. <laughs> okay. Maybe it is better here. Just. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Of course it is. You'll find my activities a perfect blend of healthy exercise and educational fun. <laughs> to the adventure playground! <laughs> That's more like it! <sighs> <sighs> this is not more like it. We should be climbing it, not cleaning it. And mess it up with your muddy feet? Not likely. <laughs> Water. We need more water. Whatever you say, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Any more messing about and you'll have to leave. And we both know what that means. 
can't I have some lemonade, Auntie? Nonsense. Prunzels is good for you. <laughs> ah, this holiday's turning into a real washout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, son. Ready for some beans and sausages? Proper camping food. Hey, hey! Everyone's having a lovely time. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Yes. Walter said you weren't settling in. He thought you may be happier on holiday somewhere else. Auntie Prue's, was it? Oh, oh behave! Oh, behave! Tell you what, there's a scavenger hunt tomorrow. Yeah! Why don't you take part and see for yourselves that a Camp Sunshine holiday is the best holiday in the whole wide world. Am I right? Oh, I love my job. Dennis, please find a way to get along with Walter before he gets us all kicked out. And before we have to go and stay with Auntie Prue. Oh, <laughs> It's going to be all right. Oh, I'm not letting Walter ruin our holiday. Time for Plan D and G. <laughs> Morning. I've made breakfast. Are you feeling all right? Of course. Why don't the two of you go for a nice early morning walk? I'll look after B. <laughs> like Dad says, Proper camping food. Up your hungry bee. <laughs> They're the best scavenger list ever. Those beans brewing yet, bee? <laughs> <laughs> now to print it out. Oh, what is that bong? <laughs> Keep watch, Nasha. This list a bit more interesting. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. Dash, dash. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Simple. Like you, eh, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Collect as many items on my list as you can. But beware, many of them are rather surprising. He's not wrong there. Nash, Nash! Uncle Billy and I will judge the winner when you get back. On your marks, get set, scavenge! <laughs> 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 Scavenger hunts, Walter. I put loads of fun items on this year. <laughs> uh, my megaphone! Hey, wh what are you doing with that? <laughs> it was on Walter's list. Look, let me see that. The, the red toilet roll, five points. Birthface cheek. The uh, hot dog sausage, ten points. My dinner more like. A pair of polka dot pants, a hundred points. All the tent pegs you can carry, ten points each. <laughs> but I don't understand. <laughs> it's chaos back there. Who told you ought to pull up our tent pegs? <laughs> Sorry, Walter. It seems you can't be trusted to be in charge. Am I right? Yes! Hey, kids, who would you like in charge? Yes! I can't hear you! Yes! Well, looks like we have a winner. Am I right? Yes! I'm not wrong. Time for some proper fun. Colouring in the archery targets. Huh? Style. Hooray! Uh, hang on, Walter. Someone has some tent pegs to replace. Am I right? Oh, cheer up, Walter. We're on holiday. Am I right? <laughs> 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 